Hello Style Mavens, Elsie Wellsie here with more tips on style and beauty for the middle-aged man. Have you ever thought about lip color? Well, unless you're on the stage or in cinema, probably not. And we don't necessarily have to be relegated to the state Scarlett O'Hara was in, where she pinched her cheeks and bit her lips to get a little color into her complexion. There are many ways to use lip color to project your personality. Online there are numerous tutorials about how best to apply lip coloring and most of them suggest that you should make it uh, relate to your skin color. Unless you're a blue skinned character in a James Cameron film, your skin color probably tends toward the warmer end of the spectrum. Except I can think of one notable exclusion to this rule, and that would be Hawk Smash. I've gone ahead and selected a color that I feel is appropriate to my personality as well as my skin color, and I'm going to apply it and see what you think. So I'm going to grab my handy dandy handheld mirror here and start to apply. I'm using uh, one of the products that comes in a tube. There are lots of different types you can use. There are uh, brush-on products in many, many different colors. Generally, your lips should be clean and dry. And you apply from the center, pulling outward toward the corners. Everybody's fond of full and exotic lips these days. It is definitely the style. And while I'm not an advocate of using Botox or uh, plastic surgery to make a trout pout, I do think that uh, a little bit of enhancement for personal projection is in order. So, there. This is perfectly attuned to my style, although it may not suit some of you who are a little bit more modest. Uh, if you're into cross-dressing, it's very effective. And if you're going to be auditioning to replace Cesar Romero or Heath Ledger as the Joker, it couldn't be better. Then again, if you have to make an appearance as a crazy clown at your kid's eighth birthday, what could be better? Elsie here saying, keep it stylish and look your sparkling best. See you next time. Oh, <laughs>